Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Chang. I'm a fourth year medical student at Boston University and I'm currently applying to vascular surgery. Uh, to change the subject, I have two questions for Dr. Velasquez and Aaron. Um, how does vascular surgery overlap or compare with other interventional medical specialties or other surgical specialties? And the second question is, what does the collaboration look like at your in institution? Right. So for the, the first question, as I mentioned earlier, when I was uh, when we were doing the introduction, vascular is one of those specialties that you get to collaborate with a lot of uh, other specialties. And there is some overlap because of that. There, the need for vascular surgeons, as we were talking about earlier, too, is, is so high, so demanding. There's a lot of underserved areas and vascular diseases everywhere, as you know. So all other other specialties were going to, you know, pitch in to take care of these people, call it interventional radiology, call it interventional cardiology in general will be the, the ones that we will overlap the most. Um, a lot of the times people believe that that's kind of a bad thing to say, oh, they're competition. You know, I'm married with one of them, you know, and Dr. Rajani is married to one of them too. I, I really think that if you see it that way, it, you're going to be kind of not happy because the truth of the matter is that we're trying to help each other to take care of all of the, all the people's needs. Uh, in my particular institution, uh, we are very collaborative with both interventional radiology and um, interventional cardiology. We help each other a lot. Uh, we call each other a lot, and that's how we do. We never see it, you know, as a competition. If if there's a couple of interventional cardiologists that want to do peripheral work, that's great. As long as they, you know, we talk to each other, and that's why it's important to collaborate because it's they know that it's, but they will like talk to us ahead of time, say, hey, I'm gonna be doing this, or if they have a question while they're doing that, that, that is fine. You know, they take, they take good care of people. They're really good doctors too, uh, but we should never really see it as a, kind of like as a competition itself. So collaborations at my place with Wake Forest is a very collaborative place. Uh, we have very big services, very sick people. Um, so I think that uh, that really helps all of us to be able to help each other and, you know, this overlap not seeing as, a, as something that it could be a disadvantage, but to the contrary. Yeah, I uh, took an interventional radiology elective during my third year. It was one of the specialties that I was considering along with vascular, and I, I really enjoyed it. They do really cool stuff. Um, I think there is like definitely some overlap with things that vascular surgeons do, especially in sort of the peripheral arterial work and geography, stents, that sort of thing, and also some of the venous work with IVC filter placement and other things like that. But at least at my elective, the interventional radiologists also did other procedures, you know, like chemo drug infusions, needle biopsies of different masses, lumbar punctures. So there certainly are distinct fields. Um, at least for me, I think what caused me to choose vascular over interventional radiology was sort of twofold. Uh, first, I you know, the interventional radiologists, they, they do still do everything under image guidance. And in vascular surgery, we, we get to do things under image guidance, but also just sort of general traditional open surgery, which is something that I really enjoyed. And then I think the other thing for me was that, at least at my institution, interventional radiology is, is really mostly a consult service. And, you know, they're, they're sort of being assigned patients and performing biopsies and helping out. Um, but they don't really have their, you know, sort of quote unquote own patients. And I really like that in vascular surgery, we get to have our own patients that we take care of and see longitudinally. Um, but yeah, no, it's super cool field. Um, I just, I think for those reasons, that's why I chose vascular surgery.